Hello and welcome to episode 28 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. The last episode was a good one, wasn't it? We've seen a sort of, I don't know, new generation, old generation, the uh, apprentice becoming the master. Yep, yeah, Jan Caramo. Actually, funny you should mention her because uh, after my, well, you could call it singing in the last episode, we lost three subs in one day. I'm sorry to all three of you who left. I'm sure it could only have been my voice that uh, made you decide never to watch this channel again. And that's fair. It was maybe a bit much. But anyway, Yang Caramo has been playing excellently. Ferrobori Dori has been struggling a bit in front of goal. It's going to be interesting to see how he does today away at Montpellier, which is going to be a tough game. And let's kind of look at the sides and see how he's doing form-wise. Because goal-wise, he has been struggling a bit. I don't think he scored in four, although he is still top scorer in Liga. So uh, we don't want to write him off straight away. Um, he's on a sideways arrow today. Ivy Lopez, well, it's interesting he's on a blue because Pacetto actually played quite well in the last game. And, uh, you know, we're, we're still struggling really to fill this right wing spot. I like I like Ivy Lopez. He's got a good mix of stats. He's a great dribbler. Uh, he's got good strength on the ball. He's quite explosive. He's not exactly a particularly quick in a straight line, but he's, he's, he's good. I like him. And uh, Pacetto also can play out there, obviously. But neither of these two are really what we want. We want a speed demon. That's what I think we're, we need to add to this front three. Someone who can get the paint on their boots down the line and really stretch teams in that way. And then we've got the twin towers at the moment of Caramo and Dory in the centre causing trouble. If we can get them both scoring, whoa. Yes, then we're in for uh, in for some fun. Wellington them obviously had an absolute stormer as well in the last game. Scored maybe the goal of the season, an incredible individual effort. And the defence has been looking good. Our Sibiadi has been playing his socks off. Ruben Duarte, well, there have been questions from some of the fans as to whether he uh, has been performing very well. He got, got made a bit of a fool of in the last episode at times, but... I'm still not sure whether Saavedra starts ahead of him. I, I think probably not. Quick look at Montpellier. It looks like a very strong centre-forward duo. And then they've got a very good-looking defence. Hilton and Ruse, left-back and centre-back. They look to be pretty good. Still, I think a team that we can beat. Uh, but we are away from home. We've done a lot better at home. We're in the lovely white kit, which I'm a big fan of. Let's get into it. So if my memory serves me correctly, we've definitely played Montpellier at some point this season. I remember CO the striker, and I'm pretty sure we lost, actually. Might have been in the league, might have been in the cup. Uh, so they are going to be a tricky side, but we've been playing really well. I think the last episode, we needed to get that win at the end just to turn things around. And it was actually a really good, solid win. A couple of good goals. Caramo continues his scoring run. Can he keep it going today? And can Dory get back in the goals as well? He's going for the golden boot. Or the, uh, oh, what's, it's or, Oro, I don't know. Whatever the French version is. Come on then. Come on, Pellier. First attack from them. Lovely ball in. Looking for C. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Wow. That was fortunate oh my god so looked to be another own goal there for those of you who've been watching become a legend own goals are becoming a bit of a horrible trend for this channel at the moment caramo now oh dances that's a poor ball though lovely header from decore stepping out well Dulin fires a ball into lopez back to encham this is nice dory will look to put it into nem lovely foot quick foot from the oh, from the brazilian not such quick lips from me we were so nearly through then Comes Ninga. Dulin tracking. Gets a foot on that. And then Zagadu. Oh, nice. Big first touch there, but it's found Dory. We want to get him some goals today. Caramo to the box. Out of his feet. Hits it with the left. Good hit. Too close to the keeper, though, and an easy save in the end. Great first touch, though, from Jan. Cham battling with CO. Wins the header really well. Then Caramo receives it from Dory. Little chip into Dory. That's neat. Now in Cham. Into Wellington Nem. Turns away from Hilton. Edge of the box now. Wellington Nem hits it. Oh, it's a mistake. And in Cham will get there to push it in. That is poor goalkeeping there. Slipped just below him. But we did say at the beginning of this season that it looked like in Cham was adding goals to his game. Uh, they've dried up a little of late. But uh, he kept going here. Lovely turn from them. He's just got so much faith in his abilities at the moment to keep the ball to frustrate defenders to get away that little turn and then did it perfectly then he was unlucky not to actually have the goal it was great hold up from Dory there was a lovely little chip ball in the build-up as well from Caramo into Dory smart players they look to build a relationship but Nem yeah he kept it low and hard oh, it was going in actually and <laughs> Cham that is cheeky and Vivian Cham gets his name on the score sheet um, but they're a, they're a team with great harmony at the moment so there'll be no bad blood there I'm sure look well into Nem in the corner still smiling Half an hour in now, Montpellier looking to build something the home side. Putting the pressure on since the goal from Clermont. This is good build-up here, but Cham reads it so well. He's having a great game already. 
Loses out there though, but it is pulled back for a foul. Lovely stuff from our man in the middle. The French N'Golo Kante. He's such, he's such a strong player. I love him. Nice ball down the line into Co. He lays it back. And Cham putting the pressure on. But they find Co again. Duarte out of position. Duarte waiting for the cutback. He knew it was coming. No! Nothing wrong with that at all. Absolutely nothing wrong with that tackle. I'm a bit suspicious of some of the refereeing we've seen. It's been very, very soft. Don't think there was anything wrong with that. Bit of a clash of knees, but I think it was a fair tackle in the end. This is a very dangerous position here. And it's Co over this one. It's got a lot of options in the box. That's well whipped. Oh, lovely header away. And here we are, half time here in Montpellier. And it's been uh, yeah, a pretty good half, actually, <laughs> all things considered. We expected this to be a tougher test. It certainly hasn't been. Uh, Montpellier yet to get a shot off. We've had three on target and uh, almost 50-50 possession. So, uh, yeah, this is good if we can keep it like this in the second half. Then we're laughing. Lovely stuff. Come on. Short throw after the mistake from Doolin. Will Adu keep this in? Yes, he does, but Duarte, lovely work there from the left back. Some have been questioning him recently, but that was well played. And he switches play here to Alcibiade. He's going to look to run at Montpellier now. Inside, a man in great form at the moment. Slips it into another man in great form, Wellington Nem. Out to Ivy Lopez. Not what you would call a man in great form. He spins a lovely ball into Jan Caramo, into the box. Can't get the ball back. Ah, oh, that's well played. Oh, it's into Encham, though. That's a mistake. Olivier Encham. Falls to Dory with the left foot and he's back in the goals. Yes. Unbelievable. It took a while. It took a while. But Chunky Dory is back. Yes. Ferrobori Dory. A man who whose goals got us into Liga. There's no doubt about that. Without him, there's no way we would have got promoted. Oh, and Cham. Unlucky not to get a second there. Great save to begin with. But then Dory was there. He needed a goal for his confidence. And uh, he'll take what he can get. And that includes pretty much Tappins. On the edge of the six-yard box. But uh, he had to score it, and he did on his left foot. And that should see us fairly comfortable here with a two-goal lead. So a quick five minutes here for Pasetto, Koyalapu, and Gufran. We just didn't really get a chance to take him off. It's been a very uneventful game, this, which is fine. That's what we need. We need a few games where we just control the game, get a couple of goals fairly early on, and then just keep it under control. And that's what we've done here, and it has been a pleasure. Well, as I said, not a beautiful win, not an exciting win. But that is exactly what we need. If we can have games like this all the way through the season against the mid-table clubs like Montpellier, then we'll be very pleased. And we reduce them to only one shot on target at home. Absolutely made up about that. Great defensive performances today from Zagadou and Decore. Duarte put in a good shift. And uh, Olivier Cham stole the goal from Wellington M. That was harsh. That was very harsh of him. We can only pray that it would have only ever gone down as an own goal. Disappointing game from Jan Caramo. Didn't get a goal today. Luckily, Dory did. Can they score at the same time? Are they to Claremont what Stephen Gerrard and Frank Lampard were to England? Can they play together? That's the question. We're yet to see them both get on the score sheet in the same game, as far as I can remember. That would be a good uh, good goal for the next one. And a lovely three points. A delicious three points. Sees us up into seventh. Still four points behind St Etienne in the Europa League spots. But crucially now, just pulling away. Just a little bit more breathing space. A significant amount of breathing space, actually. Away from 19th, 15 points there away from relegation. I think we can hopefully put that to bed. Nancy Lorraine have pulled out of the relegation zone. Uh, they've still only won three this season, still only scored nine goals. They're the second lowest scoring team in the league. Frank Honorat, my friends. Struggling, are you, Frank? It's, I hate to see it. I really, I really hate to see it. So Masawema still improving, even though he's not playing. He's a good young player. Maybe we should play him over Doolin. Dooling's not going to get any better, but he is the club captain and he uh, brings that with him. So the scouting is back. We're really looking for that exciting right winger at the moment. I'm really hoping uh, maybe looking into South America would have been the right option. So we've got a couple of options here. Christian Tello, 79 rated. That's well out of our price range. And uh, he would be just about the right player, I think. A prolific winger. 86 speed, 88 explosive power is exactly what we're looking for. That sort of speed, that sort of raw speed. But he can also pass as well. Um, and he's right-footed. That would have been perfect. Not for now, unfortunately. So we've had a look in South America. What have we got here? Vargas from Chile. Oh, he would have been all right, but he's too good for us. And Kudreni. Well, we've had him before, actually, from the scouts. He's pretty quick. And actually, he's a good finisher. He would be interesting, actually. But at the moment, he's out of our price range. And if we sell Pasetto... And I think we're down to 76 rating as our highest rating we can go to. So that's a bit of a bit of an issue there. We have to decide. I don't think we've ever had that um, problem before. Selling our highest rated player and therefore decreasing our highest overall rating. 
and therefore decreasing the uh, overall rating of players that we can negotiate with. It's a complicated one within the uh, rules of Master League Story Mode, so maybe that's up for some interpretation. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, Joan Campins, right back. No, no thanks. So nothing really good from the scouts at the moment. Let's remind ourselves if we've got anything in the list of interest. I don't think we do. I mean, the ones in the list that we probably would want to have a look at, and hopefully when the transfer window opens, we'll have a better chance of signing, would be Manir and would be Boga. Either of those two would be excellent signings. Boga, not an ideal right winger, because he doesn't actually play there. Um, but I think he'd probably be a pretty good stand-in. And Manir, I think he's probably the best option. Raw pace, uh, great dribbling, great footwork. I think he'd be a, a real pleasure to play with. He is 13 million, 17 million release fee. Uh, we haven't had a bid in for Pesetta yet, but that would probably cover it. So, second game of the episode, and we are away to Amiens. Amiens and they've got Meme Man of the Year of last year. The Cena Triori up front. They've also got Gael Kakuta, ex-Chelsea youngster. Interesting one. He, was, uh, he would be a good candidate, actually, for a become a legend of a uh, player who needs their career rebuilding after being an overhyped youngster. Uh, let's go and have a look and see how we're doing. Amiens are second to bottom in the league at the moment. They're 19th place. Oh, Kakuta, 76 rated. He's pretty good, actually. He's pretty good. Maybe we should have a look at him for a right wing spot. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Well, uh, Caramo, as you'd expect, not on the best form today, having not scored. But I think we've got to keep him in. Dorian Ivy Lopez. There's questions at the moment of whether we should be starting Koyalapu. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I just don't think we do. I mean, he's got... He's a great player. Of course he is. Obviously, he's pretty quick. He's got that great finishing. I just don't know. I mean, maybe if Dory was on a sideways arrow today, we'd play him. I think Caramo, you know, a player only 20 years old, scoring the goals and the quality of goals he is, we've got to play him whenever we can. Um, in Cham on a sideways arrow, we were talking about maybe putting Masaway and we're in, but I don't think so. Not for do. Um, what does that do to our team spirit? It does lower it by two. No, we'll stick with Doolin. He's been solid. Everyone else looking fairly good. Let's get into it. I feel like it's been a while, actually, since we had an episode where we had two comfortable wins. I would like the title of this episode to be called something along the lines of Nothing to See Here, or Easy Street, or Not a Problem. We are away from home, and we're playing against the big man, the Cena Traore. I mean, we just need to play as we did in the last game. We were attacking really well, quick counter-attacks, and uh, defending stoutly. That was the main thing. So let's keep that going. Here comes Alcibiade. Zunga puts him under pressure. That's a good ball into Doolin. Just relieves the pressure. <sighs> Went into Nemcourt out there. Oh, Doolin, that's a poor tackle. It will play, will continue, and it's going to be pulled back. Probably for a yellow card for the captain. It's Kakuta over this one. Eight minutes in. Dangerous position here for Bernardoni. Oh, straight into the wall. Thank God for that. It's not cleared. Ball out to Sissoko. Oh, Alcibiadi, lovely tackle. Then he fires a long pass into Dory. Can we hit him on the break here? Ball inside to Wellington Nem. That's well weighted. Nem steps away. Lovely pace and footwork into Dory. The low finish. Oh, just wide. He normally puts them back across the goal. This time he went for the near post. Again, great speed there from Wellington Nem. Just cuts back in. Stops the ball on a dime. Slips it into the path of Dory. We've seen him take balls in that position many a time. Normally slots them away. Just couldn't quite find the back of the net that time. So 22 minutes in, and this has been a tricky game so far. Neither side has really managed to work any shots. Um, we've had a bit of possession, not really been able to do much with it. Cena Traore has been cumbersome up front. And he's probably going to score now that we've said that. He finds the ball back. Oh, sh shoddy. That was shoddy. We were talking too much. We were <laughs> talking way too much there. And we had the cheek to doubt the big man, Cena Traore. But in a simple... Actually, that's lovely footwork. Good feet for a big man. And he finds uh, his partner there for Amiens. And they're a goal up here. No good at all. That's lovely, actually. That's beautiful. I take everything back I said about the meme lord. And, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, went into Nem. I thought he had that there. Now Zunga. All out. Oh, Duarte can only put it out for a corner. And now we have to deal with the big man, Troore, in the box. Who have we got him in? Big Zags. Kakuta over this one. It's dangerous. Zagadou will jump for it. It's a good header in the end. Oh, effort from distance. And wide. Oh, we're struggling a bit here. This is definitely not the comfortable win we wanted. Oh, Wellington Nem reads that well. And now he'll run forward. No one seems to be going with him. Ivy Lopez, will it fall to the Spaniard? 
Oh, oh, no way. Oh, I mean, it would have been really fortunate. Wellington then ran to nothing. Came off Lopez. Would have been very lucky if that had gone in. But 35 minutes gone and we are struggling a little bit here. Nem looking for options. Can he turn his man and explode away as he has done? Do lean into a champ. Good turn from him. Ball into Dory. Shapes onto his right and then his left. The curling effort straight to the keeper. And it's going to be half time here. We really would have liked to have got a goal before the half. It's definitely not going to be. And uh, that's this is a bit worrying. We've not really created much. We've only managed one shot on target. And uh, Amions have been passing it around happily. Balls into Lucina Triori working very well for them. We might need to go back to the drawing board on this one fairly early in the second. Ball in. Triori again gets the header on. If he Lopez misses that. Nathan now. Danger here. Flights it in. Alcibiadi deals with it confidently. And he's going to bring it out. We need to get men forward here. We are in a bit of a poor position now. Lopez inside to Encham. Pokes it into Caramo. Good ball. Jan Caramo now. Oh, runs into trouble. Can he get this one away? No, Ngosso with a great challenge. No, it is pulled back for a free kick. But poor decision making from Jan. Didn't have a good game in the last one. This is a decent position here for Ivy Lopez. Can he get this one over the wall? This looks, uh, looks doable. Just got to get it up and over here. Still yet to score a free kick in the Claremont. Kit. Oh, too close to the keeper. Unlucky. Didn't really have the pace it needed as well, that I don't think. Oh, Kakuta. Lovely play. Ball in. Danger here. Oh, not cleared. Get it. No, not Traore. Oh my god, what are you doing, Bernardoni? How have you misjudged that? It's bouncing straight towards him. Lucina Traore playing like a slightly taller French Ibrahimovic today. He's been an absolute handful for everyone. Kakuta whipped this one in. Bernardoni punches. And Cham gets an important little head to that. And now we can go. Come on. Break. Catch him up. Dory all alone. Still Dory into the box. Never going to be able to get a shot away there. The defence just collapsed on him. 70 minutes gone. And we are not looking in anywhere close to scoring. So Malero and Kyalapu on now. We've probably left this a little later than I would have liked. But the ball didn't go dead. Can Kyalapu get an important goal here? Malero's had a few minutes. But he is a good passer with the ball. If we can get him in. In possession with a bit of space around him. He can find those deadly passes. Traore again wins the wins the header. Sissoko now. Sibiadi well read. Now we need to look to break. Good ball from Sibiadi into Wellington Nem. Let's it run. Oh, gets there ahead of Ngosso. Lovely footwork from Nem. Can he poke it into Caramo? Looks to poke it back over the top to Wellington Nem. Somehow it's fallen to him. Oh, Nem. Oh, that's gorgeous. Come on, Wellington. You lovely, lovely man. Oh, I didn't think he was going to get to that. It wasn't a good ball from Caramo. I think that will maybe go down as an assist. It was hopeful, if anything, and it was a mistake from the defender. We were waiting for Caramo to make a run, but he didn't. So cut back inside, and again, as he did in the last episode, onto his right foot, and we get an important late goal here, hopefully to salvage a point. Maybe the beginning of an incredible comeback. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but Wellington Nem. Been an absolute handful wherever you put him on the pitch. And it's a good finish. Come on. Calvi over this one. Zagadu. Confident clearance. Still not cleared though. Danger here. It's looped in. Zagadu. That's not a clearance. Be a Barney. Oh my god. We so nearly signed him on a free transfer. If he'd come back to haunt us with a goal there. In the dying embers of this game. I don't know what I would have done. But still the danger is not cleared. 85 minutes gone. Kakuta over this one. Traore has been a handful all game. This is dangerous. We haven't got... The right men to this. Ball comes in. Oh my god. Zagadu clears. Good stuff. Can Camera get the header on here? He can. Into Koyalapu. Can we hit him on the... No. Didn't mean to pass there. But Koyalapu battling with Sissoko. Oh. Back to Koyalapu. He loses out. But still somehow... Car oh, for God's sake. So a minute left here. I think we're looking to hold on to this one now. Zamien's looking dangerous still. Don't want to let any balls into the box. Barney will do though. Traore will jump. Oh. Easy save for Bernardoni. He'll throw it out to Koyalapu. And that is going to be a draw here in Amiens. Well, I think we'll take it in the end. The dramatic late goal from Wellington Nem will do us just fine today. We just couldn't get those two wins in a row. It was a poor performance, actually. That was not a good performance from any of our players. There's a lot of 5.5s, a lot of 5s there. In Cham with a 5, Dorian Caramo both misfiring. 
Well, into Nem, the only shining star in Bernardoni, actually had to make some good saves. Decori was pretty strong, and Koyalapu and Malero barely had a touch coming on. Maybe the changes were too late. But it took some individual genius again from our Brazilian to keep us in this one. But, yeah, not great. Not great. But we'll take the point. But against the uh, 19th team in the league, you would have expected more. But Traore, he was an absolute handful. Maybe we should, maybe we should sign him. So we didn't lose. It looks like a few teams have. We are now five points below sixth place. Uh, we're ahead of Bordeaux. And actually, that should see uh, oh no, Amiens still in 19th. They've only had two wins this season and uh, five draws. I think we should have done better there. They took it to us, though, to be fair to them. It was well played from them. So only three days later in the next episode, we're going up against Mets. They are in fifth position at the moment, so they're not going to be a pushover. Uh, but that is back at home where we've had a, quite a lot of luck so far this season. And then it's Angers. They're in 10th, somewhere roughly around us. So we're not getting into the transfer window next uh, episode, but uh, we are getting getting fairly far into this season. And Dory with 10 goals now, still top of the goal rankings, but that sort of suggests that there isn't really many players in Liga scoring a lot of goals, because even at the halfway point, you'd probably expect more than 10 goals to have been scored by someone. But, you know, Dory keeps putting them away, and he managed to get back on the score sheet in this episode, but then Caramo dropped off. So, I, I don't know, can they play together? Do we need to think of other options? I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll see you in a bit.